she's gonna she's coming from a print she's coming from a place of strength because what stay down see hq we go I, i'm not saying no what i'm saying is no, it's definitely oh, that mirror. It's what not i'm saying mirror. is what i'm saying is she she he he showed his cards already he has already shown his cards she has the upper hand it is what it that's what i mean he, he has the upper hand he's already shown his cards so she aggress so see what i'm saying you you see what people you like you people like you would draw a wedge in this you making it worse you she's leaving her husband after 39 or let's call it 40 years look at her she'd be out on the red carpet with her oh that's an old old and moldy oatmeal <laughs> pie that's an old one from like world war ii they don't go stale though they don't go stale when i just first hearing about the 40-year marriage and her leaving him i thought oh wow like she's crazy but but then i thought well what would make somebody leave after 40 years you know so maybe he's out here being egregious i don't know you know older women seem to have less tolerance even though they shouldn't so i don't know i felt sorry to hear that bad news i know that he doesn't want to lose his wife so late in the game but yeah no. it's Here's, here's my thoughts the fact that she's talking about leaving and divorcing like you said her back out here on this marketplace with very much visible oatmeal pie like does she already have another silver fox brother waiting in the wing is it already done you know i don't know i think it, it, nugs do get older there could be a nug nug out there that she's um, courting, or that's courting listen. her for her money Listen, not not trying to throw fault or blame any which way, just observable realities, things that do happen. Yeah, I would say for a sister to be so quick, so quick to jump out, knowing she she and she got to be an intelligent sister. Right. You know what I'm saying? She got to have some self awareness and know, like you ain't about to go out here and find another Judge Joe Mathis husband. That ain't gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? So I would say she she got some. She got another bird. <laughs> been flat around her bush. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing all right. I want to ask. I'm not good, rather. It's the worst days of my life. How about that? Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I want to ask you, you know, with news of the separation, how are you holding up? Not holding up very well. I would say the uh, other man. Maybe I'll be an uh, example for other men. Cautionary tale. Don't neglect your wife. See how me at the airport now, flying out. Let's stop it. The worst days of my life. Don't neglect. This sounds like accountability in the room, you know? There you go. That part right there. Yes. He says, my fault. I did it. Huh. Goodness gracious. But then, it, I don't know. Uh, bad. It's a bad position to be in. This is why we tell fellas stay on their square and move accordingly because I personally don't see how you correct this. She already talking about divorce. She, huh, good luck. Shiny things, trinkets, and money ain't going to make it better. Tell you that. What, what's your take, Raquel, of this opening, what he's saying here? So my dad retired five years before my mom retired. And there were like times where, you know, my dad wanted to get up and go and my mom couldn't because she still had to be at work on Monday. So maybe it's something like, you know, she's waiting for him to finally put work down and make her more of a priority. And he just hasn't done that. Okay, so I'm letting it keep going. See what we got. I would say the uh, other man, maybe I'll be an uh, example for other man, cautionary tale. Don't neglect your wife. You see how me at the airport now, flying out, as I have for 40 or for 25 years. My wife has been third, serving the community, taping my show, having fun with friends. That's what happens, guys. Never be too busy or never have too much fun beyond your wife. 
So I do want to ask, you know, the date of separation is listed back in July 17th. Mm -hmm. Has this been coming for some time now or was it something out the blue? Well, ever since we uh, started taping here in L.A., I committed to staying home more and being making my wife more, more of a priority. But as you see, I haven't. I'm still here on the road yeah. doing the same thing. And uh, in terms of uh, going out into another city. Well, let's stop it now. So he's still out here on the road, he's saying. His wife, listen, she living a good life. Look at that purse. Look, look at the house. Look what she drive. What does she do for a living? Does she work? Has she ever worked? You know what? Not sure. But there you go. You know, it just to just for the sake of argument and debate, I'm going to take the judge's side. You know, he definitely provided a good life for her. That's for daggone sure. And I, this was one of Kev's key talking points that a lot of people saw as extremely low level, but we got to start somewhere. Like, he provided a great life for this sister. You know, obviously talking about missing the mark, staying out too much with friends, whatever that means. But like a lot of these ladies, they take for granted their existence. They, you know, they, they caught up in their own world. Their norm is their norm. Had there you go, Mr. X, having that fancy purse, driving that fancy car. That's not a look. That's their standard of living. So that's all they know. It's all they gonna accept. So they think. So I'll leave this, and that's all they know. So they think they just go on to that yet again after they leave this man. But that ain't that's not the case. But but it's it's wonky. He admitting fault. But we also got to take in observable realities. Is she going to leave her man and find something equal or better? The answer is heck no. It's no. She might be able to find some more exciting hunching. She ain't a bad looking sister. Look like she aged fairly gracefully. If that's what she into. But as far as chilling, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she, she's 61 years old. I mean, we got to start playing with it. Nah, nah. I think she's doing what cardi b is doing i think when when you threaten divorce like you're trying to get their attention i know that it's not the best way to go about getting the attention but i guess they're trying to do something drastic to get a different outcome of what they've been getting you know maybe she feels like if she files for divorce that will will actually filing you know paperwork will will get him to keep up with some of the promises he's making i mean but this, but I, I don't think she really wants to leave him you know after 40 years she probably just wants to shake some you know angst in him to get him to make a make her more of the priority than work yeah yeah this I think uh, it's childish, especially at 60. Like, be mad, go to your beach house, eat your curds and whey, and, and just, you know, be mad. He'll come see you, and he'll give you a month's time, and then he'll go back to work, and you'll calm down. But to put it, splash it all over the news and have go. people accosting him in the airport, taking his mind off of the the money that's going to afford your family and your grandchildren, the lifestyles that they have. I think that's a bit childish, especially see? at 61. There you go. I just don't see how he can fix this at this point. She's saying she won't divorced, you know, and he admitting fault, you know, there you go. Some dude, he shook, he all timid. Yeah. Like, how do you get back to, to ground zero after this? She didn't threaten you. And well, it, it, it probably ain't the first time he's been with her since she was 22 years old. She's 61. He like, I know my wife like the back of my hand. <laughs> yeah, that, that's facts. Hey, there you go. So what are we observing? Are we observing a man that's honestly trying to get his woman back? Or listen here, man, is, is he just, is this just game? He like, yeah, he's I'm going to work. He's going to that's do it. <laughs> you know, so it's like, listen. I think he he's he's reconciled the fact that yes he knows his wife the money has afforded her a good lifestyle I'm going to stop when I get ready I think this has probably been a reoccurring argument in their marriage you know like and so she's grasping at straws trying to make a play I mean lady he's still very agile let him work usually when they stop working 
they lose the brain capacity and then other things start to happen. So I think if he's healthy and able to work, let him work and relax. But yeah, he, he's 64. So he's 64. She's 61. Uh, I'm going to let this video go for another- Four years to work, right, before the age of retirement. So he's still doing what he's supposed to do, holding up his end of the bargain. That's true. There we go. To staying home more and being making my wife more, more of a priority. But as you see, I haven't. I'm still here on the road yeah. doing the same thing. And uh, in terms of uh, going out into another city. But it was I was gone for three weeks. That's what July 17th meant. Would you say you two are in a good place right now or able to maintain a friendship? Or oh, yeah. Like we're, we're still in the same house and we're maintaining a friendship. And I'm trying to get my wife back. Try, I have to show her that, though. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully I can show her while we're there together before and hopefully she doesn't complete the process. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm changing in hopes that she will. I'm going to get my wife back. How about okay, that? Absolutely. I just wanted to eliminate all them rumors, too. Hmm. He said, I'm going to get my wife back. Screw what y'all talking about. Uh, he confident. He confident. It it only, listen, is what that I got. That warmed my heart. That warmed my heart when he said, I'm going to get my wife back. If I was his wife, I'd be like, come home. I'm sorry. You know? See, there you, now here's the thing. <laughs> but he got to be that guy. Like, she got to still have something there. If he's saying this. And and he is has the understanding that another man may be in play here somewhere. Maybe she got an old friend that she'd be leaning on when he gone for three weeks. If he knows that he's talking about winning his wife back, we we getting into the realm of uh you know simpish activity. But I agree. But if he really standing on the square, you got and you know, you show that that vulnerability, like she said, like then it could come across, you know good but it's tough this is a slippery slope it's hard to navigate this so here we go well 40 years leaving your husband some it, it's not a matter of something that he did it's a matter of a s- several things that have been going wrong or been going on in that relationship that made her say i'm just done with it right now she don't want to leave her husband she wants him to straighten up and fly right. Whatever he's doing wrong, that's what she wants him to do. She don't want to leave her husband because she's not dumb. She should know there's nothing out here for you. She's not seeing anybody. She's just angry that he we don't know that that he didn't keep a promise. He we don't know you, that. Didn't you, didn't you hear what he said? He said, "I said I was going to change my behavior, and here I am back on the road again." After telling her. I'm going to be off the road. That is what's wrong. He did not keep his promise to her saying he was going to be done. She's well, here's two things. It's true, though, HQ. This is a woman yeah. who wants to retire, travel, spend money. He like, he know what they got. He like, I got to keep working. My wife want to do this. She like to spend. He know what she cost him. So she don't they work. Need to have a talk. They need to have a talk. They need to look. We can't live the same lifestyle that we did if I, if I stop doing what I'm doing. Now, either we're going to live the same lifestyle and I keep doing what I'm doing, or we're going to scale back. Which one we going to do? We're going to scale back? You ready to scale back? Okay, fine. Then this is what we're going to do. But you no can't just back. be running from the money. You can't just be running and saying, I got to make this money because she ain't going to be happy. Well, sometimes, gonna, you know, but listen, it's hard to scale back when you own you know, ten million dollar properties in Los Angeles, and the and the housing market. You, it's hard to sell houses right now. You can't do nothing. He still he got to pay mortgage and luxury taxes. Money got he got to make money. Man, you can sell you can sell things if you really want to get rid of stuff. You can scale back. Yeah. You can scale back. You can you can get rid of some of the stuff that the the luxury items. You can get rid of some of the luxury cars. You can get rid of stop. You can stop taking care of the grown kids. You got grown kids. Stop can't, taking care of them. Oh, we cutting y'all off. We can't take care of y'all. You said and done. That now, now, <laughs> ego. But I'm saying, well, do you want to be alone, or do you want to you want to be alone, or you want to enjoy life with me? And we got to cut our kids off. We giving the kids thirty thousand dollars a month. That money can come to us, and we can retire in Hawaii somewhere. Now, That's what you got. Now, now his kids, now the kids about to knock you out, Mama. Why you reaching in their pockets? See that? 
<laughs> but, I'm, but the dad, but he's but he making a lot of money and he's got he's giving them money. I bet you he's giving the kids money. So I'm saying let the kids go out and do what they got to do. Listen at this king you describing. This king, he 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 paying for this, this existence, that existence, right. kids, aunties, and how like are we is that lost on us? Like, stop doing it, stop being so dang on resourceful, taking on all this. Added yeah. stress to be a top percentile man. Can we throw that into the pot as well? <laughs> well which one do we want? Do you he he's the person that's on TV begging for his wife? She not begging for him, he's begging for her, which means he wants that life, which means you it's a it's a compromise that he needs to make. He needs to he needs to figure out what the priority he said it right there. My priorities have been her, uh, she's been number three. What woman? wants to be number three when we get old when we get old and we decrepit i don't want to be number three okay so therefore he gonna have to do something about one and two and that means scaling back which means if you want your wife then you need to scale back and do what you need to do she ain't doing nothing she just mad because you told her you were gonna scale back when we hit third we hit 60 we were gonna cruise now you telling me we can't cruise oh i got to go now that's what she like said. Yeah, you left me at home for three weeks yeah. by myself. Yeah. She you know, seems to be really pissed at that. And, right. and you want to know why? Because like Gav said, he keep looking at his monthly uh credit card bill and he like, I want to stop working, but I can't. Look at this though. Look, at he got a bunch of big sons and daughters and grandkids. Everybody mm -hmm. on the payroll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They got to pay all them <laughs> ninjas. See, like, we need new matching pajamas this holiday. I can't afford to stop going to LA for three weeks, and that's that right. Be real be smooth, and I can't because I see y'all. Y'all all want new cars, such and such. Want to go to private school, and y'all act like this is coming from a tree. But God you gotta scale back. You gotta figure it out. I would get to an accountant, or I'd get to a financial advisor, and say, "Hey, me and my wife want to retire in two years." And I need you to get all these people off my payroll. I need you to scale me down so me and my wife can have an X amount of dollars every month so me and her can travel and I can be with her. And it's just me and her. And the kids, I'm giving y'all two years to get y'all tail up off my money. And me and me and your mama going to do what we got to do. We can't support y'all and live and be happy. That's what he needs to do. Find somebody who can scale his life back for him. A financial advisor, an accountant, he needs to talk to somebody. Otherwise, he's going to be out there begging in the airport looking crazy. Or maybe no, yeah. he can take his wife with him instead of leaving her at home for three weeks. Maybe that could be a compromise. You know, instead of you staying at home, babe, why don't you come with me? I didn't but I, but that's, not the, that's not the issue. He said she is priority number three, yeah. which means he has two things that's ahead of her. He needs to get rid of those two things that are ahead of her. There you go. That's it's funny. Me, me and my wife was having this conversation. And that's what I said, uh, Rock. Well, it's funny because if you've been a wife, I said, shoot. I said, hey, you know, me, I don't like being away from my family. You know, it ain't something that I'm really willing to do to not for a long periods of time. And I said, shoot, I'll bring my one with me. Put that in the contract. Negotiate it if you can. But that that's why you got to negotiate that. You don't want to be spend all this money because a man can rough it a man can live out of a motel and go to the studio and shoot but the wife ain't staying at no motel so then you got costs going up so it's but it could be something that could be negotiated but good luck <laughs> and at the end of the day look it's 30 year old women out there on that tour all right <laughs> throwing panties at them you gotta call it what it is now he's 64 he <laughs> living out his last day these are his last days he must be happy it's not about her uh -oh, no, hold on, hold he on, not it's, still real not you know, it's not about her at this in this moment. This brother got about another five to ten years left. She got about another twenty. Let this man be happy. She when he gone, she get all the assets, the houses. He he don't need to be miserable when he gonna when he gonna die first. That's no. not what he wants. He wants that wife. So he's doing what he has to do. I don't think the man cheated. I don't think the man did none of that. I think the man made a promise to his wife that he was going to slow down and he did not slow down. And that's why he's upset. Ain't no man. You ain't never seen no man get on no damn TV talking about, I want my wife back. We separate. I want my wife back. 
I ain't heard none of that. That man is sincere with what he wants. He wants that woman. So he ain't out there cheating and she ain't either. He just but, it's something he promised her that he ain't delivering. That's and, it. And that's why I said it's a slippery slope. And it's good that we ain't seen a lot of men up here talking about I want my wife back. You in a bad ass position. Like you, you have you have shown the world the the kink in your armor. It's not a good, it's not an overall good look. It could be very detrimental. Like I said, this to me. This is kind of like the build up to a black pill, but that's that's me. Oh, no, I've, I've said this before in my own marriage that I feel like I come third after my husband's job and the things that he has to do for the kids. It depends what kind of man you got. If you want this ambitious man, that's right. what it comes with the territory. Right. I, I Listen, I, I, I said that I've had this conversation before because sometimes like you know, around the holidays or you just, as a mom, you just feel like you're strapped for time. You're late with everything. You're the only one out getting all of the food, you know, the honey baked ham, the, the wrapping paper, the mother-in-law stuff for her dog, you know, and, and you just feel like, well, gosh, I don't have any help, but you don't go out and spread your business to the whole world, you know, and throw a temper tantrum. Those are like private conversations I have between me and my husband when my kid is asleep or there you go. So, and there you go. Like that, that's part of the marriage vows protecting each other's head. Yeah. Like you don't go out like divorce should not make the media and like until it's done. Like, are right, mm -hmm. we done now? Like, you know, whatever, but in pro it ain't happened yet. Papers ain't really been filed and solidified. Now you now that protection going like I said he's naked out here. If there's a silver fox down the street that's been on her up, like he got an end. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is trouble. Mm -mm. She, I mean, the the whole point. You, but then this is Hollywood. This is Hollywood, weird, and they have reporters waiting at the courthouse to find out who getting a divorce and who filing and who all that. So the wife probably didn't say anything. This was probably a reporter who busted that story wide open, finding out that she wanted a divorce. I, they probably going to get back together. More than likely, they will. 40 years is a long road. That's a long road. Don't nobody want neither one of y'all. There you go. Y'all want each other. Y'all want each other. You want them old habits, as funky feet, and them coins. Get on back on home. <laughs> there you, you go. Hey, tell, yeah, tell it like it is. <laughs> y'all, we start getting older. Don't, yeah, nobody want, nobody, don't nobody want grandma's Auntie, except grandpa, stay home. Okay. Watch it. This is a cautionary tale, guys. You need to take care and cherish the woman that you got if she's been with you for 30 and 40 years. That is what okay. he's trying to say. And then, and then you're, sure enough, he can get another one. But how many women going to be like her? How many going to treat him, him like her? That we Women are not expendable. Women have value when. I'm going to let this finish going. We're going to keep it moving. We'll get HQ back up here. And uh, in terms of uh, going out into another city. But it was I was gone for three weeks. That's mm -hmm. what July 17th meant. Would you say you two are in a good place right now or able to maintain a friendship? Or oh, yeah. We're, we're still in the same house and we're maintaining a friendship. And I'm trying to get my wife back. Try, I have to show her that, though. Mm -hmm. um, Hopefully I can show her while we're there together before, and hopefully she doesn't complete the process. But um, I'm changing in hopes that she will. I'm gonna get my wife back, how about okay, that? Absolutely. I just wanted to eliminate all them rumors too, that it's something about a baby or even me uh, molesting a child. It's none of that. I've just told you what it is. There were also, you know, kind of some rumors of any infidelity. Did you want to clear that up at all? You say it's solely neglect. Well, neglect, uh, can create suspicion, certainly. And if you're gone as much as I am, you have every right to suspect. You know, you go to work, you go serving the community around the country, then you go with your guys to sporting events around the country, you go to other events with, except without your wife hanging with you and enjoying herself with you. And so, yeah, she would have a right to suspect infidelity. But there's none of that going on. That's not the purpose. So, you know, if you are a resourceful man, like he said, you travel in the country on work, gone for weeks at a time, I would imagine your wife would, you know, she she should, if you come, if she don't have any suspicions, that means she ain't that, that into you and she might be doing something. 
So that don't necessarily mean he's cheating, but like he said, she's he is who he is. She's like, man, you gone all the time, you know. That's come on. Women are not saints. The women have emotions and feelings too. Like you know, we got to address men's nature and women's nature. You'll be a fool. You'll be a dag on fool to keep leaving uh, an attractive woman gone around guys that she may may deem attractive all the time. I don't care how loyal you think issues going on. It's not smart. Human nature is a mother. And get, just, uh, so unless so unless she like, look, don't nobody else want this ninja. If you was that guy that she like, don't nobody else want you stank. You know what I mean? All type, you know, it is what it is, but. We're seeing that. Now, that's what we grew up with. I didn't see too many aunties in them. The dude acting up and auntie be like, hush up, ninja. Don't nobody want you. What you going to do? I didn't see that's a heck of a threat. Where you going to go? What you going to do? Don't nobody want your stanking, funky, knock knee, but but me. And, then, and they like, were they were sort of cut from this cloth, except they was missing millions of dollars in the bank. So had they had his flexibility, they wouldn't have had to put up with it. There you go. Yeah. Slippery slope. Slippery slope. So what you got, HQ? What's your take? No, I'm saying it, it, it'll work. Yeah, real quick. He said they still live in the same house. Right. They live in the same house and they're trying to work it out. If she was sick of him, she would have been done, moved out and got his money and was flying and would have went over there to her new boyfriend. If that's what she had, she wants to work it out. She wants to come for him to come home so she can talk to him and confront him. This is what you told me. You told me we're going to do this. You didn't do that. That's why I filed. That's what she wants to do. She wants to get, for him to see to see his face when she talks about this so that he can convince her. That this is what I really want. I really want this marriage, and I really want to stay in this house with you. That's what it, she went on. It, Otherwise, it, she would have left. It depends on her energy. We see we done got his energy. He being all you know, self aware and all that good sweet stuff. And but what is her? What's her demeanor? Is she like? Is she her? Is she in her feminine? Is she being demure? Is she like, oh, judge? You know, you said this. You promised me. You know, I. And she try, is she like that, or is she being aggressive? Is she forehead poking? Is she like ninja? You told me last year, ninja. <laughs> yeah. It depends. Like, I don't condone him being all sweet like this if she being aggressive. Because, like I said, now you throw yourself into a cuckold position. I feel like yeah, but it it, it comes across as sincere. Everybody looked at that video. And said that man wants his wife back. Oh, and he, I'm not not she the man that looked at that video and said, "Well, yeah, he really does." So she's waiting on him to come back so she can talk to him. That's what's happening. Not, the, but I want. In what manner do she want to talk to him? Does she does she, she want to be aggressive or is she going to be demure? She's gonna. She's coming from a print. She's coming from a place of strength because what stay down see hq we go I, i'm not saying no what i'm saying is it's definitely not what i'm saying is what I'm saying, <laughs> is what i'm saying is she she he he showed his cards already he has already shown his cards she has the upper hand it is what it is. that's what i mean he, he has the upper hand he's already shown his cards so she agrees so see what i'm saying you you see, what people you like you, people like you would draw a wedge in this. You making it worse. You like <laughs> she coming with power. He done show his hand. He effed up. Now she could do what she wants. That's not what I mean. But that, but that, that, that doesn't mean I approach the situation with aggressive. I but that, wait, it, that's very much aggressive. That's not. I would, I would it, wait till he came in the door and I'd be like, "You I, promised me listen, this. Listen, you promised me this. But you, but you backed out on your promise." I'm not call, I'm not cussing you out or anything else. I'm just telling you when you walk through the door, you promised me this. And he's gonna say, I know I did, I know I did. Then why aren't you keeping your promise to me? I told you we cannot live like this anymore. That's exactly how I would put it. I would be talking to him just like I'm talking to you. What are we going so to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Since you want this marriage just like you want this marriage, and I want this marriage, but I'm not willing to live like this. What are you willing to do in order to change our dynamic? That's exactly now, what I would say to my husband. Okay, what are you willing to do to change the dynamic? 
and what at in that moment now you mm-hmm. now he already said it we got some context he traveling out of state to go sh- get all this money at weeks at a time so now do you want him to say you know what you were right i did say that so I, let me get on the phone let me cancel all that i had going on i will try to find some work closer to home that's most likely going to be a heck of a pay cut are you now are you ready for that or that yacht wait a minute that yacht club that's it's over for that we can't afford yacht club if i it can't go to la all mm-hmm. right that that Birkin once a week that's done maybe maybe once a quarter these gonna be real life cuts and your friends gonna observe this you're not getting a new mercedes every year now you're gonna have to downgrade this gonna be about it's gonna get five six seven years old you're gonna have to drive that mother sucker all right no warranty <laughs> yeah but he's been making he's seven been years making enough money <laughs> <laughs> he's been making enough money where they they have money put See, away. No, they have that's money. that's they have accusations, money. accusations. But no, I'm sure, that, but I'm sure that he has the children on the payroll. He has people on his pay. He has all these extra things. You got three, four different houses. You got all these cars. Yeah, I would I would ask him, are we going to scale back? Right, if we're going to scale back, I'm willing to scale back too. Are you willing to scale back? Are we willing to scale back so we can spend time with each other? What are we willing to sacrifice in order even, to spend time even, with each other? Even if scale back means clearly exiting out of a social economic class, like you out of that class. That's the one thing as poor folk we don't understand. Like we say downsize, right? But they <laughs> it's weird with them up there, man. They're like they're like you, you moving different. You're not allowed in these rooms no more. You're not allowed in the club. You know, there's perks. You're going to downgrade yourself outside these perks. And, and your old peers going to be, oh, they no longer belong. They're not and like and us. And, 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 and these, and these folks, hard. there you yeah, go. And that's yeah. why and that's why I said you should be talking to your financial advisor who can who can give or give you a game plan in order for you to, uh, to continue on your lifestyle with less glitz. There's a way to do that. You can live the same lifestyle, see the same friends, visit the same communities. And you know, well, we eat out every day of the week. We can't eat out every day of the week. We can eat out three days a week. You, there's things that you got to work on. Are you willing to compromise? Am I willing? And that's what, as the husband, I would say to her, are you willing not to get Birkin bags for the next two years so that we can take that money and pay off the debt? Are you willing to not go to the uh, tennis club for the next two years so we can pay off this? If you're willing to do all that, then I will change my life. So you will not have me traveling. You will not have me doing these things. You have to make compromises when you get a certain age. And he, she's telling him she's willing to compromise. If you're willing to compromise, then we got to sit down. No more Birkin bags for you. No more tennis court lessons for you. We got to cut all of these things out in order to maintain our lifestyle. Are you willing to do it? That's you what you got to say. The tennis club HQ. But I mean, you know, you know them rich people do. I'm just no, saying I know. what rich people do. I, I don't know. You know, I'm just saying. Maybe you paying a hundred thousand dollars every year for fees right, for the country for, club. For right. the country club. We can't right. pay that no more. We can't go there no more. Are you willing to sacrifice that? Well, we well, listen, maybe tennis court. We gonna have right. to play on our own. Right. I'll yeah. say maybe at the end of the day, I'm, maybe she's not aware of the financial situation. She don't comes off like somebody who's handling the bills. It's like he got accountants and stuff. So she don't know. She probably think he has and making more money. He's like, look, we ain't ahead like you think. He's like, I got to keep working. Like, we can't cut some of this stuff off. And she thinking we good. Let's just go on vacation every other weekend. Let's do this. Let's do that. And he like, yeah. we ain't, it's, we ain't dear. So hey, therefore she got to She got to talk to him. I mean, he has to go home and talk to her then. There you go. You have to be straight up and honest. There you you go. can't buy Birkin bag. We can't pay that hundred thousand uh, membership. You can't uh, be driving a Benz. You got to drive a, a Lexus or whatever. You, you Well, even, well, even with all her. that, all that's considered, he still can't stop working as much as he's in. That's my point. He can't stop working right now. That's my like she she can stop driving whatever, stop wearing purses. He still can't stop working. And so and you gotta, go, he's got to have a talk with her about that. I and, still have legal obligations, so I got to do these things. Would you be willing to travel with me twice a month, and then we can we can do what we got to do for them twice a month, and then you stay home for the other 
two two weeks of the month. Maybe that's the compromise they need to make. But they, he needs to be upfront and honest with her about the financial situation that's going on. You've sat at home. You haven't worked. So now it's time to pinch pennies. I'm not saying we got to cut coupons. That ain't what I'm saying. What I'm saying is maybe that maid we got every week, maybe we can only have her twice a week. She gone. You see what I'm saying? You got to learn <laughs> how to, you got to figure it out. You can still yeah. have the lifestyle, but you got to cut some things out. That's all. You know what? I'm going to drop it at that. Lack of communication. Right. You know, right. The, I, I really believe that that's one of the biggest issues in all marriages. Yes. You know, not you know, lack of communication or ineffective communication. Right. You know, once when you know, I know with me and my wife, once we just start listening to one another, man, I know just been pretty easy sailing, just listening and really just communicating properly. I think this could have been avoided. Right. Like, like HQ actually making some sense. Like, mm -hmm. communicate. Tell that woman, listen, right. I know what we talked about. I know what the plan was that I was supposed to start working this year. But take the bills. I ain't going to say don't show the bills. But be like, look, it's just, see what I'm saying? How much do you want to know? Right. Do you want to take his word for it? Or mm -hmm. do you want to take on this stress? Or that you don't have to take on. I'm taking on this stress of seeing these numbers. Do you want to, I just take my word. All right. It ain't in the budget. Because y'all don't want that stress. Now See, it, depend, it depends on the wife. And he like, it, inflation it is up. He, he like, them stocks that we were invested in that was right. up in 2020. Remember right. when I told you I was going to retire back in 2020, 2021, right. when right. everything was up? It's all down now, babe. And I right. got to keep working. The stocks was up when I told you I should have retired a couple years ago. But now we done lost millions. So but you, gotta, better not, you better not say that to her. He, he better not say that to her. He better come with a plan. Whoa, you need, wait, you wait, need to wait. walk in the door and with a plan. God. You gotta walk in the door with a plan. You cannot God. say, I can't stop working, I ain't finna stop doing none of this. You ain't gonna make me stop. The minute he say that is the minute she's gonna keep walking out that door. He better come with a plan. This is what it is. I know I gotta continue to work, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if they can hire you as my come as my uh assistant. That way you go with me. To own the job, and then we we be together while we while I'm out of town. Maybe he can do something like that. Get her hired as his assistant or whatever. But spend however you need to do it. But he better not walk in that door and say, "I can't quit working. I ain't gonna be able to stop. I'm gonna continue to travel." Because then she just gonna continue doing what she got to do. You need to come with a plan. You gotta come with a plan. That's it. So here we are. HQ going to serve another 10 minutes. 